Hello, welcome to Home I Video Lessons. Now, in this video, we are going to use, you know, we are going to actuate this alarm system based on smoke because of the smoke. There is a smoke sensor here, if you can see in the top. This is a smoke sensor which detects the smoke and it is it gets activated. When it gets activated, we can give that signal to all the smoke alarm systems here. All the alarm systems here, you know. We have in the entrance, this is the alarm. So, if I activate this one, Okay, suppose I want to actuate this alarm because of the smoke which may come in this room by any accident or something, okay. So let me activate this one as well. This is the smoke sensor and that was the alarm. So now we have two bits here in the connect IO dark, you have smoke, detec smoke detector and a siren. If you just connect it like this, this will turn on the siren, the smoke detector. Now how to bring the smoke here? Okay, what can be the way? How should I, how should I burn down the things here? <laughs> okay, so don't worry. We have in this home, I we have a uh, a keyword, not a keyword, but yeah, a key in your keyboard, which you can assign to bring smoke. Okay, so I'm using the key F in my keyboard, which can bring me a smoke, which can bring me a something which will give you a smoke. So if I press F, you'll find this device comes out, and you have a smoke detector which is on because of the smoke. And because this is connected to my siren, my siren is on here. Okay. So if you want to see the connect IO, the smoke detector is on and the siren is on. Okay. So when you have some measures to remove the smoke, the smoke detector will be off. So let me just throw this device outside the window. So I'll just open up this one and open the door. And I can pick this up and throw it outside. I can throw it in the water, right? <laughs> Although this should not be done. But this is just an example. Now the smoke is not here, so this smoke detector is off and my alarm is off. Okay? So this is how we can connect the smoke detector signal to the alarm. Or you can also do some more innovative things like if there is a smoke in this room, you should open all this roller blades, roller shades, so that somebody has enough room to get out of this room and save his or her life. Okay? So that's the smoke detector here and I don't I don't have any measures to turn this off. This will just random one. So that was about how you can use smoke detector to alarm your home. Now you may have many different alarms at different areas like there is one in the outside the building. You can also activate that alarm. So you have to be very smart that you know on which different conditions you are turning on the alarm. When we were doing that when the, when the heater is on and the door is open the alarm will be on for 10 seconds so you should remember that whatever you are programming you should know when the actual scenario comes you should be able to detect the alarm signals okay so in the smoke alarm you can do like turn on the alarm for 30 seconds and then it should be off for intruder alert you can continuously turn on the alarm so it's totally up to you how you modify your connect io and activate your alarm for prescribed time or for prescribed events okay so if you have any queries regarding smoke alarm pop me a question i'll get back to you Thank you.